Hi everyone, welcome back. Till now, we have seen till now we have seen the rate of homogeneous rate of nucleation in a homogeneous homogeneous nucleation rate. Now we are considering the heterogeneous nucleation rate, which is very common. This type of a nucleation is very common in our solidification. And the nucleation will take place at the preferential sites such as wall of the container, grain boundaries, etc. Hence, study of the heterogeneous nucleation rate is very important. In in our in this slide, we are considering a very basic model. There is a nucleation at the wall of the container. This is a mold wall and this is nucleation. Theta is a wetting angle. It, uh, this is the interfacial sub energy at the solid and liquid. Interfacial uh, free energy at the so solid and the mold wall. The mold wall and the liquid. From here, from the balancing the forces, we can get gamma of mold wall equal to gamma of SM plus gamma of SL cos theta. And we have divided this one into two form SL sin theta and gamma SL cos theta ok so this is added in here and we got this one and from here rearranging the terms the cos theta will give rises to ML minus gamma SM divided by gamma S. This is the equation that we got. This equation will give optimum embryo shape on a con con condition that the mold wall remains planar. So these are the, this is the equation that we got, cos theta equal to, I will write it separately here, gamma s, okay, then the free energy of a heterogeneous can be given this equation. So I have written here. This is a volume free energy that we have exp expressed similar to that of the uh, homogeneous nucleation. Volume free energy, free energy per unit volume, volume free energy that is formed with uh, this one. And it has extra term, three extra term. The free energy of solid liquid, free energy of solid mold and free energy of mold and the liquid. Okay, so first two term these two terms has a positive effect on the heterogeneous free energy whereas last term is having a negative effect this is because of a destruction destruction there is a liquid is destroyed and the solid is formed because of this it has a negative effect on the uh, change in the free energy of a heterogeneous nucleation and we can write this expression as delta G heterogeneous is equals to minus 4 by 3 pi r cube delta G V that this we know plus 
oh, oh. sorry delta g heterogeneous is equals to minus 4 by 3 pi r cube into delta g v plus 4 pi r square gamma sl into here one more term new term called as an shape factor s of theta we will get this s of theta can be written as 2 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta whole square whole divided by 4 so this deriving this shape factor equation is out of our syllabus right now so if we if you need uh, this I will make a separate video a small video of 10 minutes so I can derive this expression okay and this is, we are just multiplying shape factor with the this expression this is a free energy excess free energy related, uh, related to the heterogeneous nucleation and similarly the next expression is uh, critical radius is r dash equal to same same expression as that of the homogeneous nucleation there is no change at all whereas excess free energy delta g star is similar expression 16 pi by 3 gamma cube s delta g v square but we will multiply shape factor with this one <coughs> right ok these are the most important expressions which comes in heterogeneous nucleation. So, we are this expression can also be written in terms of the homogeneous free energy that is S of theta multiplied with delta G star homogeneous. This means that the free energy of heterogeneous nucleation will be S of theta times that of the free energy of the homogeneous nucleation. From the expression of shear factor, it is clear that as we decrease the theta value, s of theta value also goes on decreases and it is reducing the excess free energy related to the heterogeneous nucleation for example i will take a good example to explain this one if a theta value is 10 degree okay the s of theta value is 10 power of minus 4 that means the heterogeneous free energy related to the heterogeneous nucleation is 10 decreases by 10 to the power of minus 4 times as compared to that of the delta H homogeneous. If we consider theta is 90 degree, S of theta is 0.5 and the heterogeneous free energy related to the heterogeneous is half of the homogeneous free energy this is a 
this will give the information of excess free energy of heterogeneous nucleation from this expression only we have drawn one expression one graph this graph is obtained obtained from here only. from here this expression only that is delta g hetero is equals to s of theta multiply that of thing delta g star homo this is the heterogeneous nucleation whereas homogeneous nucleation is having the free energy of this much which is very large as compared to that of the heterogeneous nucleation but the r star value is the same for both the homogeneous as well as a heterogeneous nucleation right this is the importance of the graph and this will relate the homogeneous as well as heterogeneous nucleation now we will see the nucleation rate in the heterogeneous heterogeneous nucleation rate genius nucleation right similarly we will start the expression for the number of the clusters that is formed in the liquid is given by the same expression but here the Gibbs energy is related to the heterogeneous then the rate of heterogeneous nucleate nucleation can be given with the help of this expression f1 c1 exponential of minus delta g heterogeneous star divided by kt <coughs> f1 is a frequency factor similar to that of the f f0 and c1 is the number of the frequency factor and c1 is given by number of the atom in contact with a heterogeneous nucleation in contact with heterogeneous heterogeneous nucleation site okay by combining these two relations we can plot this graph also this is explosion of a nucleation that we got that we this graph is obtained from previous homogeneous nucleation and now we are drawing a heterogeneous nucleation rate with this graph right as we increases the undercooling 
the Gibbs free energy related to the heterogeneous as well as the homogeneous will decrease. And one particular value, there is an explosion of a nucleation will take place with a small temperature range. Here we see that due to the shear factor, the free energy for the heterogeneous is very less as compared to the homogeneous. Hence, with a smaller undercooling, the heterogeneous nucleation rate will be more, uh, more as compared to the homogeneous. Due to this reason, we are seeing <coughs> with a small undercooling, a heterogeneous nucleation will take place. Usually, in normal day to day experiments, we will see the heterogeneous because of this S of theta, just shear factors. Okay, this is all about the relationship between the homogeneous and heterogeneous nucleation. And I will end this phase transformation with taking some numericals in the next upcoming videos. I will solve some basic numerical equations on this topics and we will end up this phase transformation. Thank you.